Let's talk now to Ian Stannard, uh, Senior Foreign Currency Strategist at BNP Paribas. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, you say that the euro dollar uh, has the, the euro run rather has run out of steam, but uh, euro dollar parity now looks a long way off, doesn't it? Um, yes, it is a long way off, but I think we are still very much in a trend whereby the euro has to continue to uh, weaken and that we're going to see the uh, euro dollar trend continue to move down. And we'll be looking for a move towards uh, parity as we head into the, uh, the, uh, into the middle of uh, next year. We believe that uh, the euro weakness uh, should actually be seen within a uh, more positive context as far as the, uh, the bigger picture in the eurozone is concerned. We believe that given the extent of the uh, fiscal tightening that is now being implemented throughout the Eurozone, that the Eurozone actually needs a weaker currency to try and offset some of those uh, negative implications for the growth picture. So a weaker Euro would very much help the European exporters, particularly in Germany, especially how they have been developing their markets into uh, their export markets into Asia, which is the one area of the global economy which is uh, still booming. So we actually believe that the weaker euro would be a desirable uh, policy response as far as Europe is concerned. So overall we believe that the, uh, the picture is still uh, quite a negative one for the euro but would eventually have some positive implications for the eurozone economy. Now, we also uh, saw the Fed say that it will uh, keep rates low for an extended period of time. What effect do you expect that to have on the dollar? Yes, I think this is quite an interesting uh, change in uh, uh, statement uh, coming from the Fed. And it actually fits in very nicely with m the, uh, the, the change in tone we've seen from most of the major central banks. Most of the central banks do seem to be taking a far more cautious stance with regards to their assessment of the global recovery, talking about the uh, international uh, risks. So this suggests that we're going to see, I believe, globally, interest rates remaining at extremely low levels throughout the major economies. And uh, we'll likely see liquidity, uh, central bank liquidity, remaining in place and perhaps, perhaps even uh, added in certain places such as Europe and the UK. So all of this will actually have a, a stabilizing effect on uh, asset markets, global asset markets uh, going forward and will help support a risk appetite against an environment of uh, potentially slower growth in the uh, major economies. So that suggests that the commodity currencies will still be very well supported going forward, particularly those which are exposed to Asia and China in particular. So the Australian dollar still stands out as being particularly well supported as we see the domestic data from Australia also coming in very strong. So we believe that uh, the commodity currencies will remain supported in this environment where central banks maintain very loose accommodative policy and maintain liquidity in the financial system. Ian Stannard, thank you very much indeed.